watch you as you dry do you know i'm looking and i can't help but smile Hi everyone, welcome to another Crafts with Ash DIY and Decor. My name is Ashley and today I am so excited to be bringing you along with me as I decorate my dining room for Valentine's Day and my coffee bar. Now my kitchen decorate with me and that hanging shelf that I have and the living room will be in another video. So please make sure that you are subscribed and turn on those notifications so you get a little ding ding when I post that because I'm telling you the decorations I have are so cute, they're so sweet, and you're not going to want to miss it. All right, so like I said, today we're going to do the dining room, the coffee bar, so that does include my hutch, the dining room table, the corner shelf, and the bar cart, and then of course the coffee nook. So I'm going to turn you around and show you what we are using just on the hutch today. Now, if you remember, in my last video, I did cupcake themed tiered tray uh, DIYs because I said I was going to do my coffee bar and cupcake theme. I actually decided to switch it up and I'm actually going to do my hutch and cupcake theme. And that's because I just really wanted to go for it and I had a lot more than what I thought, so I needed a bigger space. But I think you're really going to love how this all came out. And I am going to still incorporate all of those tier tray DIYs in a small tier tray on my hutch. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so here, <laughs> I know it looks like a lot, but here's a brief overview of what I will be using on my hutch. And then also, of course, it's all based off of this sign right here. I saw the sign at Hobby Lobby and I'm like, yes, I love it. I'm going for the cupcake theme somewhere in my house. So I am going to be using this stuff, I think. <laughs> Don't know if I'll use all of it, but hey, let's get to decorating and find out. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do, of course, is wipe down my hutch. I had just taken down all of my winter decor, and it left some glitter and some wood shavings from some pine cones. So I wanted to start off on a clean slate, so I just wiped it all down real quick. Now I'm going to begin with the main attraction of the hutch, which is my Valentine's cupcake sign from Hobby Lobby. And then I'm going to place a pale pink plate on either side. I'm doing this to kind of break up all the glass and that way it just gives the eye more to see. Now I'm going to place these two red jars on each one of the plates and then I thought it would be cute to put some baking utensils inside each one of the jars. Now I'm gonna use these candlesticks that I actually am reusing from Christmas, and I'm going to put these cute little candles on top that I already had in my stash. Then I couldn't believe it, my husband found these cute cupcake signs at the Dollar Tree, and of course I just had to use them. Then I found these little fairy garden cupcake little statues, so I decided to throw those on there as well. I thought that this came out so cute. So now that the middle shelf is done for now, we're going to use move to the top. So I'm going to place these two Malamine hearts up top, one on each side, and then I wanted to bring in the baking aspect of cupcakes. So I'm going to put my Ray Dunn milk jug right on one side with some hearts in it, and then I'm going to put my sugar canister on the other, and I just tied a red bow around it to tie in the red. Then I'm going to put this really cute baking love Ray Dunn dish in the middle with a plate holder. And then I thought it would be really fun to add some sprinkles to that shelf. So I am reusing these little mason jars uh, from Christmas. So they already had that ribbon on there, which was perfect. I picked up these sprinkles at Walmart. So I'm just going to go ahead and put one kind in each jar. And then I'm going to place them on my top shelf. The reason why they have to go on the top is because I have a four-year-old who loves sprinkles. So 
<laughs> I think that probably answers that question. So once I put them on the glass shelf, again, I just wanted to break up all the glass. So I'm just going to take these little white plates that I have, and I'm just going to place one underneath each one of my sprinkle jars. And that completed the top shelf. I'm loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment. Moving right along to the bottom shelf, I'm going to go ahead and put two more of those pink plates on the shelf. And then I picked up this bowl from the Target Dollar Spot and I thought it was perfect for the cupcake theme. Inside the bowl, I'm going to place two of these Valentine tea towels that I also got from the Target Dollar Spot. And then I'm going to place this rolling pin that I also am reusing from Christmas inside the bowl. Now on the top middle shelf, I wanted to offset the pink plates. So you're going to see that the two up top are pushed in and the two on the bottom are pushed out. Now I'm going to take this cute jar that I got from the Target Dollar Spot and I thought it would be fun to add some cookie cutters. Okay, now it's time to decorate that tiered tray with all of my DIYs that I made in my last video. If you missed that video, I will have it linked in the description box below. I watch you as you drive. Do you know I'm looking? And I can't help but smile. Now these heart measuring cups actually came from either TJ Maxx or Home Goods last year on sale and I just wanted to raise each one of them up so I'm just taking a little piece of paper or cardboard and putting one in between each of the measuring cups and I thought that that gave it a really neat touch. Then I'm just going to top off the tray by throwing in some mini foam hearts and that's going to complete this bottom shelf. To finish off my hutch, I'm going to add this set of really cute string lights that I got from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to put them in front of the cupcake sign just to kind of showcase that sign. And then, of course, I have to add my DIY cupcake that I made in my last video. So now that my hutch is complete, I'm absolutely in love with it. Let me know. What do you think? I was at the wrong place at the right time Cause suddenly there you were with those bright blue eyes We were conversing into the night sky When you took my hand said let's leave now all right, now we're gonna move on to decorating my dining room table. Again, I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe it off from all of the decorations um, during winter. Then I am gonna add this furry white table runner again. I used this for Christmas and I used it for winter and I just still really love it because I just feel like it's romantic, it's fur. So I wanted to add that. Then these heart table runners, I actually made by using those felt hearts from the Dollar Tree. And then I just used twine to tie each of them together. So then I'm going to add a red charger in the middle and then these little vases came from the Target dollar spot around Christmas time so I kept them out so I could use them today as well. Then I got this set of two mini trays from the Target dollar spot and I love them because I just absolutely love the color of them. 
So now we're going to go ahead and set up our table settings. So I got these super cute chargers from Hobby Lobby and I just loved how they had the hearts cut out. And on top of each one of the chargers, I'm going to add these red and white plates that I actually got from the Dollar Tree. Then on top of the plates, I'm going to add these bandanas. <laughs> and that's a little hack for you. Don't spend a ton of money on linen napkins. You don't need to. Just go to Hobby Lobby or a craft store. And I paid 99 cents for each one of these. And it was a lot cheaper than buying cloth napkins. So if you're not really going to use them as napkins and it's just for display, pick up some bandanas. Then I topped that off with a Malamine heart plate from Hobby Lobby. And then these cute Amore plates I got from TJ Maxx last year on sale. A set of four for $3 and I love them. Of course, because I'm Italian and they said Amore. I got my mom a set too. Now to those little vases, I'm just going to add some baby's breath and a little heart pick. And then on top of those little heart trays i had these candles from years ago and they look like little chocolate candies so i'm just going to go ahead and add a couple on each one of those little trays then i'm going to bring out my cake plate or this could be a veggie platter i love this little serving plate it's so cool it's multi-use I'm just going to wipe that down and you know what we're adding. Of course, you can't have a cupcake theme dining room and not have any real cupcakes. So I'm just going to go ahead and add these mini cupcakes that I got from Target onto my tray. If you noticed, one is missing. I give you one guess on who ate that one. <laughs> and they were good. My daughter ate it, not me. And I'm probably going to have to move these cupcakes out of there. Next up, I'm going to take these little XO candle votives and I'm just going to add a battery operated light in the middle. And then I had two of those string lights left over, so I decided to weave them in and out. And I just thought that that added another layer. It added more texture and dimension. And when it's lit up, I just feel like it's so romantic. You know, if the lights are off in the dining room and all my candles are lit, these bulbs are on. I just think that it adds that Valentine's and romantic touch. So my table is complete. So I'd love to hear your thoughts. Let's head over to my Hobby Lobby shelf that I have in the corner over here. So it is four shelves and I'm obsessed with decorating this. I just love the shelf. So on each one of the little round shelves, I am going to put some rose petals and then this is going to have all my Ray Dunn Valentine pieces on it. So I'm going to go ahead and put my bean mine canister, my little Amore 
spritzer, a <laughs> water spritzer, I guess. I don't know what it's called. Let me know in the comments what that thing is called. And then I'm gonna, of course, add my rose petals. And then I love this little love bug heart. I call Amelia my daughter love bug. And so when I saw it, I just had to get it. And then this you might recognize is one of my DIYs in one of my recent videos. It is just a little candle holder. This was in my Valentine dupe video. Then moving on to the third shelf, again, adding the rose petals. Then I'm gonna add this really cute XOXO pale pink canister. And next to that, I'm gonna add my little clock. And yes, I do still need to set the time. Then moving down to the bottom, again, I'm gonna add my rose petals. And then I'm going to put my little heart canister and then I have this little smooch vase and in there I'm gonna put some roses. Then to complete it, I'm gonna add my little book stack that I DIY'd last week. And there you go, there's my corner shelf. Moving on to my bar card, I'm just gonna add this little round tray that I got from the Target Dollar Spot. This canister also came from the Target Dollar Spot. Then I'm gonna add my little Valentine wine glasses from the Dollar Tree, and then of course this Mama Needs Wine wine glass is perfect for this Valentine's theme. Next I'm gonna add my Ray Dunn bubbly wine holder and I did add a red bow to that to tie it all in and then this little heart. To the bottom I'm going to add this little Lazy Susan from the Target Dollar Spot, my ice bucket to the other corner and then of course my shaker on the Lazy Susan and then my Happy Wife Happy Life glasses which are perfect by the way. Then I've had this sign for a really long time so I thought I'd add it to the bottom. And then I have two to-go wine glasses. <laughs> I guess they're not really to-go. That would be illegal. But anyway, my cold wine glass cups and then this DIY I made years ago before I even had a YouTube channel. Then to complete my bar cart, I'm gonna go ahead and add this perfect tea towel and underneath it, I have another bandana. So that's my bar cart. What do you think? Okay, so real quick, I wanted to jump in here because if you remember on my winter decorate with me, I said I had another hack, but the timing didn't work out. So these are my chairs for my old house. I kind of outgrew the orange color and I was searching on all the furniture places and really just did not want to spend $500 on a whole new set of chairs. So I ordered these slip covers. I told you that I would give you an update and literally they came in the day after that video posted and I've had them on ever since. You can see them on these other chairs. They are so nice. I am not sponsored. The company didn't reach out to me. This is just something I found on Amazon myself and wanted to try. I know what you're thinking. Oh my gosh, Ashley, you must be crazy because you have cream colored slip covers with a four year old. So here's the deal. They're slip covers. They can come off so you can wash them. So easy peasy. So I'm going to show you how easy these were to even put on. If you want to pick up some slip covers yourself, I will drop the link in the description box below. Like I said, they came from Amazon and they had a variety of different colors. For now, I just wanted to go for cream because I am just trying to tone down the orange and um, maybe I'll change it up in the future. That is the most amazing part because the chairs are in great shape. There is no reason to get rid of these chairs other than the color. 
color. So say in a year my taste changes again and I want to do all black, then I can get black slip covered. So it's a great way to upgrade your home decor on a small budget. P.S. Yes, I know I'm wearing two different socks here, but ain't no one got time to sit there and try to find matching socks. <laughs> this is life. This is your friendly reminder that if you're loving what you see so far, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Not only does it really help my channel to grow, but it also tells YouTube you love what you see and you want to see more. So smash that like button. So as you can see, that was how easy it was to put on this slip cover. And you can see this does have like a little texture on it, which I really love. Uh, so here is the table with all of the slip covers, which you may have noticed. And I'm telling you, I love them. It's a great way to update your style on a small budget. All right, let's move on to decorating my coffee bar. So here's my coffee bar. I did DIY those shelves. That hook rack came from Hobby Lobby, and this table right here was from Facebook Marketplace, and I redid it. So up at the top shelf, I'm gonna add my Kisses Ray Dunn canister, and on the other side, I'm gonna add my heart canister. Then I'm going to add this cute little sign that I got from Hobby Lobby last year on sale. And then I'm going to use one of these signs from the Target dollar spot. Single, taken, nope, I'm of course hungry. <laughs> so I'm going to add that to the other side. We will be adding more to this shelf in just a little bit, but first we're going to drop down to the middle shelf. And I'm going to add this little tray that I made last year in a DIY. And on top, I'm going to add a canister from the Target Dollar Spot. These next three can canisters did come from there last year and they were in the Dollar Spot for Valentine's Day. So I totally forgot I had these and I really wanted to use them because they're coffee themed. So of course they have to go on my coffee bar. Then I'm just gonna add two more Ray Dunn mugs with the toppers on either side. And of course I'm gonna elevate them by using my white plates. Then to finish this shelf, I'm going to add this cute little love sign right in the front. Moving down to the coffee bar itself, I'm going to add this same red and white runner that I had for Christmas. Now, yes, I know it needs to be ironed. <laughs> I did not have time to do it before shooting, so... I may or may not take it off and iron it, but to the side, I'm going to add my DIY little cocoa bar. This was a whole video in itself. I can have this linked down below. I actually did this last year. I made that tray. I also made these two jars. Basically, everything you're about to see me put on this tray, I made. So in one of my jars where it says cocoa, I, of course, I'm going to add some hot cocoa mix. Can we stay here? Then to my other jar that says marshmallows, I'm going to add marshmallows. After those were filled, I'm going to add them to my hot cocoa bar tray. I found this I Heart Cocoa mug at Hobby Lobby last year, so I'm just going to add some straws inside. And then these cute little marshmallows I did make last year in this video. Like I said, I'll have that linked down below. In the middle of my coffee bar, I'm going to add this little cake stand from Target Dollar Spot last year. And to the top, I'm actually going to add my Easter 
sugar and creamer set from Ray Dunn. I thought these were perfect because they're pink and I just threw some heart stickers on it and voila, now they're Valentine's Day. In front of that, I'm going to put my little red truck. I'm going to add a little straw to my sugar container and then I'm going to add the heart toothpicks to the other one. Moving up to my rack, I'm just simply going to add three different Ray Dunn Valentine Day mugs. And then of course I always add a theme mug to my Keurig. Down to the bottom, I'm just going to add a cute little Valentine tea towel. Love you more than coffee. That is somewhat true. <laughs> And then on to the back to the top, I'm going to add this super cute sign from Dollar Tree. I didn't do anything to it. I loved how it looked. And then I'm going to add these cute little mushrooms in the middle. Then I'm just going to add some final touches by adding little hearts just here and there just to give it more dimension, more for the eye to look at. And that was it. That completes my Valentine's coffee bar. What do you think? absolutely love the way that each of these areas came out this was my first time decorating in this home for Valentine's Day and I gotta say I'm obsessed after Christmas I was ready to kind of tone down the color a little bit but then now at this point I was ready to bring that pop of color back into my home and I'm so glad I you're gonna did. have to let me know down in the comments what you thought of all of my decor today if you haven't done so already, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, give this video a like, and hit your notifications because the next video I will be uploading is my kitchen decorate with me and my living room decorate with me. So I definitely know you wouldn't want to miss it. Well, until I see you again, I'll decorate with you soon. Bye!